Right, perfect. So for game Hello. one of tea time number 49, we're gonna see Space Mongoose versus Jambubi. Now, Roy versus Insin. Mm, yeah. This this is gonna be an interesting matchup because of course, while Insin while Insin wants people to be in his face, Roy's really fast, so maybe revenge might not be as efficient here. Mm -hmm. It yeah. basically depends how well can um, Jamubi bait out Space Monster's moves. Yeah, I think that this is uh, this is actually all right for Inton because I feel like he like he has really good close up buttons. The problem is that most of the time he can like have trouble closing the distance. But if he keeps getting into these scrambles with uh, Space Mongoose, then Jimu uh, then like uh, Jamubi has more chances to get those devastating hits. Yeah, and we can see now we've gone right back. We've gone right back to zero. But that revenge, fifty percent on that neutral B. That this this is already scary. Jamubi starting to find his footing here. He's got he's got a ledge trap now. This is where Insin shines. Now, if Space Mongoose is not careful, he could lose his stock because he's just getting thrown from one side of the stage to the other. Jamubi is getting very comfortable with uh, calling out these defensive habits and. He's getting air dodge read after air dodge read, and he's just like racked up all of this percent. He has a very clear advantage here. Uh, Space Mongoose is going to have to work very hard to be able to make this back. You know, you, yeah. Um, you know, you're talking about closing the distance. It seems Jamubi's really been able to find that. But whether Space Mongoose is able to do anything about it or not, he's just going to get hit by a side B and he's going to lose his stock 130%. That's just so unfortunate. Yeah, That's, and that uh, that neutral B to get uh, to get him out of that scuffle is he honestly doesn't really have to like well air dodging into these uh, up, uh, is, isn't gonna help too much but <laughs> that was nice that was a really good play from Jamu from Jamubi there I mean yeah he could have sent him up he could have sent him behind him but you know just yeah. waiting it out wait because Space Mongoose had lost his jump. He's just going to go flying out. And of course, we know Rory doesn't have the greatest recovery. And he'd still have to try Clash with Insin. That's just brutal. Of course, yeah. That's that's a trick that Insins like to use a lot. It's when their side being back to ledge, they catch somebody. And then they just don't... Get, uh, they miss the hit on purpose so that they put the opponent in a worse edge guard situation. And Roy couldn't even recover from that reliably. So... That was like a very good play from Jamubi. Yeah, so Roy, of course, we know Roy has a really good advantage. But on the other hand, his disadvantage, it's really lacking, especially off stage. It leaves him really prone to getting ledge trapped and edge guarded, which we can see Jamubi did a really good job. Once he was able to uh, figure out what Space Mongoose was doing, the stock just just went like that. There wasn't much, he could, there wasn't much Space Mongoose could do about it. He was getting chopped from one side of the stage to the other and then just getting edge guarded. Now, yeah. we're going to be going into game two. We're going to see Hollow oh, no, Bastion. I don't know who this favors here, but, you know, Jamubi immediately just trying to use a get off me tool, seeing um, that Space Mongoose tries to go for more aggressive plays, but Space Mongoose noticing the same, noticing the same, instead going for a mix up, just moving back a little bit. Yeah, of course. And Jamubi, he's doing, a, uh, he's doing a good job of maintaining these ledge traps once again. But Space Mongoose is finding more of these hits. He's ma uh, he's mainly catching Jamubi for jumping a lot, yeah. and that percents are looking a bit more even. They keep trading the control like, uh, like back and forth. Yeah. I mean, hey, this is looking really good for Space Mongoose. Roy's ledge trapping. I mean, both of these characters they have terrifying ledge trapping. But Space Mongoose instead deciding to disengage. Maybe not, they, he did not want to risk going into um, something like an instant side B. Of course, you don't want to get reversed. And hey, it's working for him. He's got a really solid advantage, constantly getting good juggles and baiting out almost everything that Jamubi's trying to do. Yeah. This is, uh, this is honestly re uh, like really good for Space Mongoose. He's not, uh, he's not doing anything crazy. He's uh, not even throwing out too many attacks. He's, ju uh, he's just waiting for his opportunities and he is like just staying patient and waiting for Jamubi to commit first. And yep. this is doing doing him a lot of favors. He do he does need to close out the stock. Insin with rage can be terrifying, and already Jamubi is looking for that call out side B, which will kill from anywhere on the stage. But a falling up heads take the stock. Now we need to see how long will Space Mongoose be able to hold onto his stock. Of course, while while Insin is scary with rage, so is Roy. Both these characters are really hard hitters. So if um, Space Mongoose is able to find his footing here. 
which he unfortunately is not getting hit by a back air. Very solid move. It's relatively safe. And hey, it's a kill move yeah. that you can confirm into quite well. It's going right back to even now. Let's see what they're able to do. Yeah, so uh, right here, Space Mongoose finds an upper, but Jamubi calls him out out of shield, catches the spot dodge, and right now he has all of the control. This, once again, percents are actually looking rather even. They, uh, Jamubi has made somewhat of a comeback, but now Space Mongoose has him in the corner, uh, gets those call out uppers again. Yep. And every time he's getting hit, it's usually in a trade. So Space Mongoose isn't actually losing much out of these situations. Unfortunately, it seems here that uh, Space Mongoose is just able to scrap better, juggle better, and just constantly keep Jamubi in disadvantage. But Jamubi finding finding a really good side, a really good jump call out there. And he was able to take a stock like right at 100, not letting Roy get to rage. And He's going to try to hold on to his stock as long as possible. He's not using revenge as much as he was at the very start of the game, at the very start of the set, in fact. Yeah. And it seems to be working quite a bit better for him. Yeah, I, th I think it's mainly because of the way Space Mongoose has been playing around that revenge and the way he's been spacing around Jamubi in general. I feel as though Jamubi has caught on to the fact that Space Mongoose is giving him a bit too much respect. Yep. And he's uh, he's throwing out more side Bs and uh, more back airs as a result. That is Ooh. such an unfortunate SD. I That's don't think uh, he realized how low he was from that up Yep. Well, Jamubi taking it 2-0. Advancing on sending Space Mongoose into losers. Will he be able to make the losers run? I mean, from what we saw there, he was playing really well. I hope that I hope that he does make a run here. Who am I against? Okay.